Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today, today the Indiana Pacers and center Daniel Tice have agreed to a contract buyout, and Daniel Tice is planning to sign with the Los Angeles Clippers. I will say the Los Angeles Clippers are very lucky, because the Clippers showed a lot of interest in trading for Daniel Tice, I'm just saying the Clippers are lucky that, you know, the Pacers didn't agree, that the Pacers did agree to this contract buyout, uh, and decided to get rid of the contract of Daniel Tice, because if they didn't, uh, the Clippers right now would probably have to give up somebody useful on their team or draft picks to take land Daniel Tice. Probably would have had to say goodbye to Mason Plumley, who is out for two months. But once he does return in January or February, he is a very solid backup center. Uh, would have had to, They would have also had to give up another contract as well. Um, so I, I think that right now, uh, I really think that this is a great addition for the Los Angeles Clippers to add in Daniel Tice, who I know in the last two seasons has had injury problems with the Pacers and has n has not found himself in the rotation. But with the Boston Celtics in the past, he showed really good stuff with the Boston Celtics, sometimes as a starting center there. And even with the Rockets and the Bulls, was very solid there as well. So let's go over his stats. So last two seasons, he's only played eight games with the Boston Celtics. This season, he play he's played one game where he scored two points. Last season, he played seven games with one start, 15 minutes per game, averaging seven points per game, three rebounds per game. 2021-22 uh, season, he played 47 games, 26 games with the Rockets with 21 starts, 21 games with the Celtics with six starts, so 47 games, 27 starts, 8.2 points per game, five rebounds per game, and 31% from three. 2020 season, he played with the Celtics and the Bulls, so keep in mind, this is a weird little thing with Daniel Tice and the Boston Celtics. So he was on the Celtics in the 2020-21 season. Then they traded him to the Bulls. After the 2020-21 season, he became a free agent. He signed a decent deal, a really large deal with the Houston Rockets. Then uh, the Houston Rockets decided to move on from him at the trade deadline. They traded him to the Boston Celtics for Dennis Schroeder and Bruno Fernando. So then he returned to Boston. So when he returned to Boston, he played 21 games with six starts, averaging 18 minutes per game with eight points per game and five rebounds per game. Per game. With the Rockets, he averaged nine points per game and five rebounds per game. It was pretty solid there in his 26 games. 2021-22 season. Uh, in the 2021-22, or sorry, the 2020-21 season, 42 games and 37 starts with the Celtics, 25 minutes per game with... 10 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, and from 3, he shot 35%. With the Bulls, when he joined there, looked pretty solid. 23 games, 14 starts, 25 minutes per game. And uh, uh, he played 23 minute, 23 games, 14, 14 game starts, 25 minutes per game, with 10 points per game and 6 rebounds per game. And from 3, he shot uh, 28%. Uh, 2019-20 season with the Celtics, he... Was a starter for most of the season, 65 games, 64 starts, uh, 24.1 minutes per game, an average 9.2 points per game and 7 rebounds per game. So for the Pacers, I don't think it really hurts them much for you know letting go of Daniel Tice. Right now, I think this is actually good for them, getting rid of his contract. But I think that for the Clippers, them signing Daniel Tice, this is a huge move for them because they need a, they need a backup center bad with Mason Plumlee out for the next two months. Um, so this is a great signing for them, especially with them on a six-game losing streak. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed them. Your thoughts, and peace out.